Good day everyone, this is Sir JM. Andito na naman tayo para matuto ng mat. Tara! Our lesson for today is all about Pythagorean Turin. Quarter 3, Grade 9 Math, Week 8. Pythagorean Turin. The theorem states that the square of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is equal to the sum of the square of its leg. We have the given example, a right triangle. C is the hypotenuse. A and B are the legs of our right triangle. And the formula is A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Let's have an example. How long is the hypotenuse of a right triangle whose legs have the length 5 cm and 12 cm? Again, what is the unknown? Yes, our hypotenuse. Given the formula, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. We have C squared. And the value of A is 5 plus the value of B is 12. Therefore, we have C squared is equal to 5 raised to 2 plus 12 raised to 2. And we have C squared is equal to 5 raised to 2, 25. It means that is 5 times 5 plus 12 raised to 2 is 144. Simplify, we have C squared is equal to 25 plus 144 is 169. Then, how can we get the value of C? Yes, very good. By squaring both sides of our equation, we have square root of C squared is equal to square root of 169. Square root of C squared is C is equal to square root of 169 is 13. The value of our hypotenuse is equal to 13. Next example. In a triangle PQR, angle Q is a right angle. If PR is equal to 8 and PQ is equal to 4, find QR. Okay. Ano po ba ang nawawala dito? We have the hypotenuse. We have the longer leg. Yes, ang nawawala po natin dyan, or the unknown is the measure of our shorter leg. Again, our formula is C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. The unknown is our shorter leg or ating A. Then, apply, we have PR squared, the, the hypotenuse. QR squared, the value of our shorter leg, plus PQ, that is our longer leg, or PQ squared. Applying the value, we have PR is 8, therefore we have 8 raised to 2, or 8 squared, is equal to QR squared, kasi wala tayo niyan ngayon, plus 4 raised to 2. Simplify, we have 8 raised to 2 is 64, is equal to QR squared, plus 16, that is 4 raised to 2. Then transfer 16 at the left side of our equation, therefore we have 64 minus 16 is equal to QR squared. Then QR squared is equal to 48. Okay, we have QR squared is equal to 48 by subtracting 16 to our 264. We have 64 minus 16, that is 48. Okay, then squ squaring both sides. We have square root of QR squared is, is equal to square root of 48. Then we have QR. Okay, QR squared, square root of QR squared is QR. Square root of 48. Since 48 is not a perfect square, we need to find the factor of 48, 1 is a perfect square, 1 is not. Okay, we have square root of 16 times 3. QR is equal to 
Square root of 16 is 4. Then square root of 3. 3 is not a perfect square, therefore it will remain inside the radical sign. Our final answer is QR is equal to 4 square root of 3. Next example, we have number 3. It's a triangle whose sign have lengths of 8, 10, and 15. It's a right triangle. Since our given formula is c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared, applying the values, we have the longer side, which is our hypotenuse is 15, is equal to shorter, shorter leg, we have 8, and the longer leg is 10. We have 15 squared is equal to 8 squared plus 10 squared. Okay, simplify, we have 225 is equal to 64 plus 100. Then simplify natin ang right side. We have 225 is equal to 164. Does 225 is equal to 164? Yes, that is not equal. Therefore, the triangle whose side is 8, 10, and 15 is not a right triangle. Number 4. A rectangular gate whose dimension are 3 meters by 2 meters is to be braced with a steel up by connecting opposite corners. How long does steel be? Okay, again, gugui tayo ng rectangular gate. Then, lalagyan natin ng brace. Ayan, we have 3 meters and 2 meters here. What do you think is the measurement of our brace? We have formula C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. The given is a rectangle. Therefore, ano nga ba ang properties ng rectangle? Okay, it have four right angle. It means if this is a right angle, our steel is our hypotenuse. Very good. Yes, ang nawawala po dyan is yung value ng ating C. Therefore, by applying the formula, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. We have C squared, that is the unknown. Our C is equal to 2 raised to 2 plus 3 raised to 2. C squared is equal to 4 plus 9. C squared is equal to 13. Square root both sides. Then we have square root of c squared is c is equal to square root of 13. 13 is not a perfect square. Wala rin tayong mahanap na factor dyan. Okay, therefore, square root of 13 pa rin siya. Our final answer is c is equal to square root of 13 meters. Therefore, the steel must be square root of 13 meters long. Let's have our final example. A 25-foot ladder is leaning against a vertical wall. If the foot of the ladder is 15 feet from the wall, how high does the ladder reach? Okay, this is the wall. And this is the ladder. That is 25 feet. And the feet of our ladder is 15 feet from the wall. Therefore, ang hahanapin natin dyan is itong height ng ating wall. It means that is the value of our B or the longer leg. Applying the formula, C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. We have 25. Okay, our hypotenuse. 25 raised to 2 is equal to 15. Value of A, or 15 raised to 2, plus B squared. Simplify, 25 times 25 is 625. 15 times 15 is 225, plus B squared. Transfer 225 at the left side of our equation. We have 625 minus 225 is equal to B squared. We have 400 is equal to B squared. 
squaring both sides, we have squared of b squared is equal to squared of 400. Squared of b squared is b is equal to squared of 400 is 20. Therefore, 20 feet does the ladder reach. That is the value of our b. Try this one. Find the measure of the unknown side of a right triangle. If you know the answer, please comment down below. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to follow, like, and share my epi page at Matt with Sir JM and subscribe my YouTube channel, Matt with Sir JM. Stay tuned for more videos. Baka mat yan!